Okay, so after all of us speculating on if Team USA was even going to reach the gold medal game and all that, well, they won the whole thing, they got the gold medal, and there you go. France definitely put up a fight. Kevin Durant, the main guy to talk about. First and foremost, 29 points, which, sure, it doesn't scream out like all-time points performance game or whatever, but he was still great nonetheless, especially when it was like, I think, first half or third quarter, whatever it was, exactly where France was starting to make it a little too close for comfort when they really got into the just go bear generating foul after foul or just getting dunks because they were switching and then he could roll and you know, he was doing some little shady stuff with like hooking guys' his arms or whatever, but he was getting position and then France just, they were just getting, again, free throws, dunks, whatever out of that stuff. And eventually Team USA figured that stuff out. But while all that was going on, Kevin Durant just being Kevin Durant, I think he was attacking DeColo the most, which is something that I was wondering was going to happen in this game. It's like, at what point is the offense just going to become KD doing whatever he wants and just mismatch hunting as opposed to the Olympics, everybody touching the ball sort of thing. And I think there was a pretty good balance overall. I feel like the shot selection for Team USA, for the most part, was pretty all right. There was like one or two Tatum jump shots I wasn't a huge fan of, but Tatum was great overall in this game. He bailed him out. Of a couple possessions, a couple post-ups, he had uh, that one sidestep three that was huge that I think took the lead from like four to seven, and I believe that was in a bit of a transition thing. I don't think France was in a zone, but it was kind of wild how USA was able to get some of their open looks in the fourth quarter late. Like, I guess France was just that loaded up on trying to stop uh, anything at the basket. But uh, the other thing to speak on was the defense. And I think when Drew got there and he started picking up guards in full court or half court or whatever, fighting around screens, just doing all the Drew Holiday things, first off, that just slowed down the other teams because that's obvious. But I also think it just gave everybody else that jolt that they really needed on defense. And I think you saw it in this game with the amount of turnovers that they forced from France. I mean... I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but I know it was a lot. And also a similar thing happened against Australia, because Australia, which was the semifinal game, they had it close at halftime, and sure, they benefited from hitting a couple of crazy threes, one especially from Patty Mills that I remember, and USA couldn't buy a three on the other end, so some of it was just some bad luck for USA. But they were down like 15 to Australia, whatever it was, and then they just went on some, I don't even know, like, 45 to 10 run or something crazy and it was because they just super locked in on defense and I think the same thing happened here I mean in this game again it was a lot of switching and I do think for the most part it did overwhelm France's guards it just it did give them some of those go bear rolls to the rim and then you take into account a couple of Yabaselli threes and suddenly France for a moment was really like in this and there was that moment late where I think it was Neil Aquina if he would have made that three and made it a two-point game off of the stolen inbound then that would have been really scary but of course that did not happen I would like to point out again Jason Tatum was great in this game and I think Tatum Booker Levine Middleton all the wings I think adjusted pretty okay to the uh, international game and I think the main thing is like being content with not being the guy and to me the one dude who had the toughest time adjusting was Dame because it's like everybody else is either a wing player who already doesn't have the ball every single possession or it's KD and he can do whatever he wants or it's like Drew and Bam and they're already not the leading shot takers on their team so then it was Dame who's like I don't have the ball every possession so do I just spot up like what do I do right now uh, but eventually Dame got there so that was good. Also, I would like to point out, we did see what can happen if you just throw Gobert the ball a couple extra times. Like, no, I'm not suggesting at all that you start treating him like he's Tim Duncan or anything. The Jazz should not do that. But if he's got good position right in front of the basket on a guy smaller than him, I think we saw that he can do some stuff. So yeah, overall, the Olympics were pretty fun. I will admit, I had the most fun watching Slovenia, and I will be watching that bronze medal game assuming that it's not at like seven in the morning my time and uh, we'll see if Luca can do that and yeah there we go got three videos out of the Olympics I didn't even know if I was going to do one